Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would do a little get ready with me playing with some new skincare as well as um, some new makeup and a few oldies but goodies that you guys had requested. So there was a request for me to show an eye lick using some of those cream eyeshadows that I had showed in a previous video that I will mark up above. But I thought today we would go ahead and do a quick and easy look using one of those cream shadows and playing around with some new goodies that I am completely obsessed with. So <laughs> if you're interested in seeing how I got this kind of glowy spring easy look, then please go ahead and continue to watch. Okay, guys, let's dive in. First, I have cleansed and toned my face. I cleansed it with my creamy cleanser, my lotion P50, and now I am going to use the Truth Treatment Systems Transdermal C Serum that I absolutely have been loving. I also am going to be using the Jordan Samuel Hydrate The Mist. This was another recommendation from Mandy, and she was right. Love at first mist. <laughs> you guys, this, you know I love a good mist. This is one of the best. I absolutely love it, and um, I have been intrigued by this line as well and I'm curious to learn a little bit more about it. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this on my face so that it is damp. Ooh, you guys, it smells absolutely wonderful. This contains red seaweed, cucumber extracts that is gonna calm and soothe the skin, as well as glycerin. So you guys, it is super, like hydrating it smells lovely just really fresh and clean and i am loving it so i'm gonna take a couple drops of this and we are gonna put this on my damp skin so you guys i really am enjoying this vitamin c i'm gonna put a couple just like a little spritz as well in the palm of my hand and then I'm going to rub this together because it says that it's best to put on damp skin. And the, the difference I am finding with this whole delivery system is that my normal vitamin C's have been really watery, um, like my CE Ferulic and things like that. And this seems to be just very hydrating and I'm just kind of pushing it into my skin and I'm really enjoying this so far. And you guys, thank you so much. So many of you guys are using this whole system and are just raving about the truth treatment. And I am like very surprised. I have literally put these products in my bag several, or my cart several times. And now I feel like I need to get that omega-6 recovery cream and some of the I other. usually like try to let everything sink into my skin for at least like 60 seconds between um, next product. It doesn't always work that way, but we're trying it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use their Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator. They sent me a little sample and as I said the other day, I'm finishing up my Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. So I'm gonna use this today, but I'll finish up that other one and then I will be purchasing this because so far I tried it and I really liked it. So I'm just taking a little drop from my little sample here, guys. I am gonna go ahead and mist my skin again with this, guys. We are gonna layer on hydration today. You guys, I don't know what, this is like special. It smells, it's just lovely. Like it literally is amazing. And then I'm just taking that and I'm going to be just putting this all under, up underneath my eyes. We are gonna get a little glow master going on. I'm gonna bring it down my neck and to my decollete. Ooh, 
it just feels so good. <laughs> Um, so I am really, really, really enjoying these products. I will be purchasing more and I'll keep you guys apprised. But one thing that I did pick up when I was at Sephora the other day, and that was the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the ultra hydrating and anti-aging skin cream. So you guys, I did get a little bit sucked in. Uh, so I, the touch of water cream never worked for me. It was a little bit not hydrating enough for my skin. So when I was there, there was a person who was sampling this and telling me all about it. And it just felt so hydrating and rich and buttery that I was like, oof. Now, number one, let's enjoy a little bit of the packaging. Beautiful Tatcha packaging comes with the little spatula here that you can take out. Let's get this guy out here. And then let's open this guy up. So you guys, you're getting a little bit of first impression. I have not actually used this yet. Here is this beautiful kind of purple beauty <laughs> cream. And let me tell you just a little bit about it. Okay, you guys, it says that this rich, rich cream uh, feeds skin with plumping hydration and antioxidant packed Japanese purple rice for a dewy healthy glow. So you guys, the one thing I noticed, it was just, oof, the consistency of this is just rich and luxurious and it just looked, seemed like it was gonna give me that kind of dewy glow that I like. And I'm just gonna rub this on just a little bit off from the cap. Mm. Okay, it smells really fresh and clean and it just smooths on like a dream as well. Let's see if we can see if it's giving me a dewy, plumping, um, hydrated look. And ooh, you guys, it really is quite lovely. It says that this cream is intensely hydrating and that it's going to be packing in that moisture um, to replenish ceramides for a healthy bounce in instant luminosity. And you guys, I'm looking a little bit rough this morning, so just ignore that, but I am gonna tell you, my skin just feels super hydrated and absolutely lovely. So I am just testing this guy out um, upon first <laughs> impression or I tried it in store on my hand and then I was like walking around it's like oh my gosh it just feels so hydrating and I just love the consistency so we are giving that a try and then you guys I always use my um, ride or die is my uh, glow be skin beauty solar shade SPF 50 this is my SPF that I use every ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm down to the, don't worry, I'm on. I have a subscription, but I am gonna go grab my backup bottle. Be right back. Okay, you guys, I have a big glob of my Glow Skin Beauty Solar Shade SPF 50. And this is just one of these SPFs that does not irritate my skin whatsoever. And yes, it does leave a lovely white cast <laughs> on the skin but it sinks in, I promise. So I like to just really coat this on. This step out of everything we just did is probably the most important. <laughs> SPF. And if anybody young is watching my channel, you may not be, but honestly, that is one of the things I wish I had used um, earlier rather than later. I wish I had incorporated it into my routine. Um, so I always used makeup and stuff with SPF, but that is not going to give you the amount of SPF you actually need. You'd probably have to use a whole bottle of your, um, like if it's in your foundation, you're going to have to use a lot, which I know you're not going to want to. So <laughs> that's my little public service announcement for today. Okay, you guys, let's move on to our base. And the other day I was sharing with you how I was really enjoying this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. And again, this was something that I had tried, really didn't care for, and 
Now I'm absolutely in love with it and glad that I gave it a second chance. Okay, so the key to this, uh, making this look just flawless and just really healthy is to use some sort of illuminating primer underneath. Now, one of my favorite ones ever is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. I have this in my little travel size. I finished up my big guy and then I just recently purchased the Pink Glow, which I'm absolutely in love with, but I wanted to show you this guy because I'm sure you have something in your arsenal that's kind of similar to kind of a champagne-y um, sort of illuminating primer. So I'm just gonna take a couple dots of this and you guys this one's just really subtle so it is not like a hugely um totally shiny kind of illuminating primer i find it super moisturizing and this was a tip from actual some um, um makeup artists that had done my makeup for some headshots for my business and she just swore by this Tom Ford illuminating primer. Like she just loved it. That was her one of choice. Um, and she just said, it just really gives you this really healthy glow from underneath, but it's not over the top. So in photos, you don't want to be overly um, bam. And so she really enjoyed that. So this guy is in shell and I'm going to take one pump and you guys, that's more, it usually says half a pump, so just you'll see what I'm gonna do. I am going to start by taking just a little bit on my fingertips, and you wanna work in sections, okay? This dries down really fast, and so I like to just take my fingertips and rub this into the skin to start with, and you can see how full coverage this is already. It is going to see how this one side let's do this one side over here other one over here and then i am going to go ahead and take that damp beauty blender and we're going to start to tap that into the skin so you, this is the deal it dries down really quickly and i think that's part of it too this will look absolutely amazing but you do kind of want to shear it out going to take the other side now and again I'm going to start with my fingertips and then rub this into the skin and then we'll use that damp beauty blender to really shear this guy out but I don't know if you can see can you see how from because of that illuminating primer and the other products that we used initially it is just giving me a little bit a peak of luminosity from underneath which i really like so this was one where you guys had commented on the video that i was wearing the makeup and had said um could i re can i do this on screen show you what i'm using um with this particular foundation because yes it is a little bit more finicky but there is certain days where i really like having a little bit more coverage and you guys, this one gives you some nice but skin-like coverage. So from here, I am going to just keep on really pouncing this into the skin. And then I'm going to just build it up just a little bit where I need it. So again, I'm going to come up. I'm going to see if you can see this dewy kind of look on the skin. And then I'm just taking any of the extra. And I don't need to feel like I really need to use a lot of this and I'm just going to dap it on a little bit where my cheeks are red and we're going to build that up just a little bit and a little bit underneath my eyes. Now with this you don't want to use too much underneath that eye area because it will dry down and make you look like a little crinkly hag. <laughs> oh. Or I should say you guys know I'm not a huge concealer girl and so i tend to just use the layer of foundation underneath my eyes and i just noticed i got to be a little bit careful with this guy if i put too much of this on underneath my eyes it does not look good okay now that we have complexion i'm just going to spend a few seconds here just really pouncing my damp sponge and making sure that it's really pressed into the skin 
Okay, you guys, I am gonna come up close so you can see the base completed like this. We've got a nice little base and now we wanna warm up the skin, okay? So here is this with that illuminating primer on. And you guys, this one just wears down really well <laughs> um, throughout the day. So it's going to take a minute to kind of set. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to put on a few more liquid products. So these are not new, but I have to say I'm just still in love. And I thought, let's go ahead and use them still. You guys, I'm still obsessed with this liquid Laguna from NARS. I seriously love it. And this has been my bronzer of choice kind of in this um, spring, kind of the transition from winter to spring. And I'm just taking one squirt. And the way that I like to use it is with my It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush. I wanna take a little bit of this and then I'm just going to warm up my skin. And again, this looks really more skin-like. I think that's another reason I like it because I am using a little more full coverage foundation. So now I'm kind of wanting to bring back that kind of second skin look so it does not look super heavy. So just a little bit over the forehead, take a little bit over here, and again just kind of going underneath the cheekbones here. And the thing that I really found interesting is that I thought this would be hard to use and it's not at all. You guys, this just is a really great layering piece. So I think that if you are concerned because it's kind of that watery texture, um, I usually like to use a cream product that I can have a little bit more pliability with, but this liquid is so awesome. And I think even if you can see this on my hand, the layering, it just kind of melts into the skin, but it warms it up. So you really get that kind of healthy flush kind of um, look versus kind of a powder, like a bronzer and stuff. This one, you could use this as your first layer. And then as the season gets a little bit more sunny, then using a bronzer on top of it. But right now I have just been using this because guess what? We are back to crappy weather here in PDX. <laughs> rain for days. Um, so now that I have binge watched on my Southern Charm and I'm all through that season, I have now discovered, I'm late to the game, but that Frankie and Grace. And you guys, I absolutely love that show. It's so uh, fun. My gosh, Jane Fonda still looks amazing. Lily Tomlin is just hilarious. Martin Sheen, Sam Watterson, the whole show is just so cute. I absolutely love it. So now I'm using the NARS Orgasm. And again, you guys, so pretty. I'm going to dot this, dot this on just a little bit and it's going to give me that kind of just worked out um, glow, we hope. And let's just kind of move this on just a little and again with both of these products i just find that they kind of wear really well through the day but they're just not super heavy okay and don't worry like you have a little bit of time if you are using them if you make a little mistake um if you put too much of the blush on do not worry you can easily take a little bit of your sponge that may have a, just a teeny bit of foundation on it and kind of push it through so it's not so sharp I'm finding that Orgasm is a much easier color for me to wear than the, um, oh gosh, um, Dolce Vita. I really love that one too, and that will definitely give you a healthy flush. But the pink, this kind of pinky with a little bit of shimmer in it, uh, just kind of screamed spring to me, and I'm kind of liking that softness from it. Okay, now that we've got cheeks blusher on, we're just gonna let this whole thing kind of sit down. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick and easy eye look. So the other day someone had asked if I could do a look with some of those cream eyeshadows that I recommended. And I thought today we would do one of my favorites using the Tom Ford, and this is in Platinum. This is the Cream Pot. This is a well-loved color. It is definitely very moussey. And this is just your classic 
kind of taupey color. I'm gonna give you a little swatch here. So this was funny. This was all of the rage um, several years ago. I wanna say at least two years ago where it was just sold out everywhere, uh, maybe even longer than that. So then you had to get your hands on it. So once I got my hands on it, I really do like it, but I was like, okay, I'm not sure what the big, huge fuss <laughs> was with this, but I really do like it, but it's just a really nice, uh, taupey, kind of with a little bit of a metallic um, look on your eyes, so easy. So the way I like to use this, I am using actually an Anastasia brush that I'm gonna stick into my little pot here. And then I am just gonna come here and I'm going to windshield wiper a little bit of this on. And you guys, I hope you can see I'm coming up a little bit closer here. And it's just so easy to use. So this is one of these quick and easy eyes. And one thing I love is that this will stay all day. So just kind of get it where you want it. And again, I am just, you can give it a little wash or you can build this up. That is another nice part. I'm going to do the other eye. So here's one. And then we'll do the other eye here. Simple look for today. And again, if there's any sort of smudge that you don't like, you wanna work quickly because as this dries down, it will stay in place. You guys, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna show you just a little wash of platinum. And then I am going to take an eyeliner and I am going to be using my favorite navy from NARS. This is one of these larger than life um, and long wear eyeliners. And this is in Saint Honoré, Rue Saint Honoré. Again, I like these because you get the, you can roll them up from the bottom, and I'm just going to line my eyes really quick, close to as close to the eyelashes as possible. It's a little bit messy, but I'm gonna take the other side of that Anastasia and I'm just going to softly smudge that out. Okay, now that we have the eyeliner on, I am going to do the most important part. <laughs> I need to put on my eyes, which is my mascara. I've been really enjoying this um, Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm gonna put that on real quick. I won't bore you to death, as well as just clean up my brows real quick. Okay, you guys, mascara's on, feeling much more human. <laughs> and then to finish off this kind of glowy, dewy look, we are gonna finish with my favorite Clay de Poe lip luminizer in lavender you guys you are right i just absolutely love this and it's just such an easy look i am just going to give a little i feel like this lavender just screams spring this this is such a pretty um just the flower i just am finished off with my favorite lip luminizer in lavender this is kind of a quick and easy go-to look using some new makeup as well as a few oldies but goodies. But overall, I am absolutely loving um, these products. Again, this was kind of a first impression, but I am feeling like my skin is looking very um, healthy. <laughs> dewy we shall see um if this is too dewy but i actually uh feel like one thing i know about that hourglass foundation is that it dries down and wears really well throughout the day so i'm gonna come up and give you a little close-up of the foundation as well as the other makeup and give you just a little close-up 
I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me today using a few new products as well as some oldies but goodies. And again, you guys, I will be back with another fun video coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.